Yeah. I, 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 okay. It, it reminds me of Google Buzz. Uh, yeah, well, I have other concerns about that. <laughs> um, okay, y'all. Um, been a while since we've covered the Googledom, but there's actually information of interest in the Googledom right now. <laughs> um, actually, let me fix that. I'm not a fan of that. I can just by reading this. <laughs> There we go, so you can read the first. Okay, no, um, Google has added something called Ripples. They actually added it a little bit ago. Uh, the, Google, the API for Google Plus is not developed enough, but one thing Google has made clear is they're going to develop the API for Google Plus where it's going to be as developed as their other APIs are. So basically, you know, you can get in and get at this stuff, pretty much like people can do with Twitter now and Facebook and, and so on. Uh, there's a concern here with ripples. Basically, the way, um, the way you propagate stuff in Google Plus is you share it. You know, you, you share it to your feed, which shares it to everybody who's tracking you. If they like it, they reshare it, and you know, so on and so forth. Any thread, you can just click the little button in the right-hand corner, and if it's been shared, any, there's an option in there called ripples. And what Ripples is, is it says, okay, this is the first person who had it. These are all the people who shared it. These are all the people who shared it from them. These are all the people that shared it from the source guy as a result of it being shared from them. And it basically tells you who every single person was. It's a privacy nightmare. <laughs> yeah, and it does the same thing when you plus stuff. Uh, but it, it's a little harder to get access to that information because it's only plus for the individual posts, not the whole string of posts that are rippled throughout. The shares, on the other hand, are the whole string of posts that were rippled out everywhere. Now, what this kind of reminds me of is the way Facebook <laughs> implemented their new uh, news feed. Mm -hmm. um, the only way in Facebook to get rid of seeing everybody else's crap is to unsubscribe to them each individual person because I can, you know, I'll go up to my news feed on my Facebook and I'll see people, you know, posting the other crap and I'm like, I don't need to know what. Well, no, you, you, you're talking about the stuff that circles on Google Plus fixes. I mean, you can even mute whole circles where you don't see them today. You that, know, I, that's what I mean. But yeah. I mean, that's essentially what Ripple. No, no, what Ripple's about. is is it's the metric data on the associations of who's sharing what. Who's yeah, it's like, it's like net, uh, what is it, Facebook's networks, essentially, almost, not quite, but the idea is the same. I, I, I guess, but I mean, the concern there is, I mean, once the API is developed enough, any third party can write software to take that information and do the whole five degrees of separation on anybody and go, well, these people are following this stuff and sharing that stuff and, and, and doing this and that, uh, so on and so forth. Well, we know who this whole organization is because they're sharing that <laughs> and so on and so on. And so it, 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 the, to see the look on people's face, they look at it and they're like, oh, that's cool. It's a lot of information. And then the light switch that goes off in their head when they realize this is public and not just the person who originated the story gets access to this, but anybody on Google Plus can see... Oh, shit. <laughs> All 67 million people who use Google Plus. <laughs> well, no. And once the API is developed enough, it doesn't even need to be somebody on Google Plus. You know, it could be the, it could be Homeland Security just doing their daily and who are our terrorists today list. <laughs> okay, the following people need their phones and their movements tracked. We think they might be up to something, <laughs> and it would just be automated. They mentioned something about the Constitution. Oh, they might be terrorists. <laughs> God. I, I mean, can you imagine that if they applied the same crap they apply, they apply to, you know, buzzwords and mentions to just Google Plus associations? <laughs> they plus one that. Oh, oh no, they're, they're bad. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, it's, it's the shares, but yeah. 
And it lets you know who the hub people are. You know, but the other information this gives you is the way it works. Like I said, this is the place it started. These are all the ripples out. Then it went to this guy over here. This guy started a new hub. What that tells them is, okay, we can kill this whole thing by taking out these two people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's essentially what that information is. It's like, oh, these are the hubs. Take out the hubs, the whole thing falls apart. And it tells them who that is. <laughs> Uh, better living through technology. <laughs> Can we all just become cyborgs and get it done up over with? Uh, yeah, they're going to put those... G I, I know what it's going to become. Okay, we have to run your DNA and, G and GPS chip you at birth. Just to know, you know? <laughs> Are you really you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, on a side note on the Google side, HTC and IBM are uh, teaming up to lure business to Android. <laughs> I'm not sure Android needs help luring business at this point, so I'm a little confused about that. But hey. Not, not when it has, you know, what is it, 47% of the market or something. And more companies are going to bring in your own crap if you want in on our network. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, um, hopefully most companies are running on the Linux base because it makes it a lot easier integrating your Android experience. <laughs> Just saying. We're not in Utopia yet. It's coming. <laughs> well, let's see. Linux is on the server. It's on the smartphone. Now it just needs that in-between device. <laughs> hmm. In-between device. <laughs> I, I hear rumor there's this thing called WebOS and it's going to go open source. It, it already did. No, it's going open source. When? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>